My name's Tiger Monkey, and all I do is win championships. I'm Amy Dallin, and they let me come back! I'm Scott Tomalty, and I made them take me back. I'm Tony Darling, and I bring the thunder. I'm Boyan Rodakovich, and I'm the sassy one. to take you to one of the most exciting parts of the gathering. We are about to open up the doors and let everybody in. The participants are gonna come in and build their desks and it's day one of the gathering and I didn't get to do this last year but I get to open the doors this time. So come on. Ah. You ready? <laughs> the doors are in fact about to open. April Fools! <laughs> We've actually got all of these people lined up ready to register. Uh, and I don't know if any of you all can hear me, but if you do, you should cheer because we're at the gathering. Ow! <laughs> this is awesome. These guys are hardcore. They are. They are. This, uh, so everyone's waiting to register down here, uh, and then the doors will come in, and everyone, if you can see the floor down here, is going to rush to these empty tables and construct their amazing elaborate desks. And it's going to be awesome. Yeah. Um, Where's our cat down? Oh, it's here. There, that was, did you see the joke that Amy made there? That was, that was so amazing. Looking around for... That was so funny. <laughs> That was so incredibly funny, that what she did there. Who could, who could possibly criticize that? Who That's could possibly criticize that? It actually is April Fool's, right? It is April Fool's, yeah. yeah, it is April Fool's today. Well, it's kind of hard for me because, like, we flew out on Sunday, mm. right? It was Sunday evening, and our flight oh. was so delayed. <laughs> look, look, there's you, there's oh. you. What? I know, right? I know. <laughs> Welcome to the gathering. Yeah. We are here. Shall we high five on it? Bam! Good high five. Good sound. Yeah. Good connection. I'm yeah. a fan of that. So no, I felt, felt that. Felt that one right there. Yep. And uh, for everyone who missed us yesterday, I'm Scott. And you, sir? I'm Boyan Rodakovich. Yep. We're going to be some of your hosts for this year's gathering. We're going to be taking you through every single thing you can expect to be doing over the period. My arm looks all right. That's really cool. So this is your first year, right? It is. I'm, I'm super psyched to be here. Um, I'm looking back here. It's like a giant Viking longship. It's super cool. Um, and it's just rows and rows and rows and rows of these like empty tables. But I know in a second, these guys are going to like fill it up. They're already, you can see them actually in the background. They're already filing in quite nicely. So first impressions, you got here right about yesterday or so? Yeah. First impressions. First thing that went through your mind, through your skull bones. Um, actually, well, the first thing I saw was the ship itself, because I'm kind of a Viking fan. So uh, that was pretty cool. But once I got inside, it was uh, a bit overwhelming, honestly. <laughs> it's like this smell of pine, because like uh, yeah. all the desks, uh, electricity and energy drinks is kind of like the feel. It's, yeah, it's, yeah. it's a quite a good aroma. It kind of sticks with you in a nice way as well. You know, every time you see someone drinking some monster, you're just like, mm, <laughs> right. I'm back. <laughs> right, right. We were making a joke about that the other night where, uh, like, they had these energy drinks, like, uh, empty ones. Yeah. And they're, like, spent battery packs, for, like, for gamers. Yeah. But there is literally an uh, energy drink called battery back there. What? Marketing is a wonderful, <laughs> wonderful thing. I know. I need some of that. Uh, I mean, it's good to be back as well. I was here last year. It doesn't feel like it's been a year. It's uh, been a very quick year to pass by. I don't know. It's cool. Like, if I were in Norway, I would. this would be the thing I do, right? I would mm. look forward to it all year. Like, in, um, in, what, in the U.S., we have PAX and Gen yeah. Con, like, these big shows. I feel like this is the same thing in Scandinavia, right? Pretty much. I mean, it's even bigger than last year. I think we managed to squeeze another 500 or so folk in. It's pretty impressive. All these desks, what you're going to see, you haven't seen this yet. But when the lights I, wa I, wa I want to see this. I want to see like when the lights go out and like the stage turns on, like there's music and everyone's yeah. like gaming all day long. It's and exactly that. It's just a lovely thing to behold. It's a big countdown. I mean, it's just, it's wonderful. It really, really is. But you can't, you can't describe it really. Well, I have to experience you it. You do. You yeah. have to see it and yeah. feel it in your heart and again yeah. in your aforementioned skull bones. <laughs> right. 
But it's not really about us. It's about the 5,500 people that are going to be sitting out there where I'm pointing, where the desks are. Especially that guy. Yep, I see someone with a green hat on getting their desk set up. He's totally waving at us. Wave. Wave. <laughs> Damn it, wave. Nope. Fine. <laughs> well, anyway, it's not about us. It's about the participants. Yes. And I believe Amy's going to be interviewing one right about now. Let's, so let's do it. Let's point to Amy. <laughs> I have found myself some participants. Would you please introduce yourself? My name is Robin. My name is Frederick. And uh, what do we have here? Well, uh, we have a 3D printer. We have two computers, uh, water cooled, uh, pretty high value. So we're kind of scared. Hell yeah. Uh, Guys, be, be, stay away. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, we're pretty scared. Like it's, uh, it's not the best setup, but. We're careful enough, and we get it all in at once. That'd be nice. <laughs> Excellent. Have you been before? Uh, yes, I've been twice actually, and um, this time we came in a little bit early. We were here seven o'clock yesterday, and uh, <laughs> wait, where did, where did you guys sleep last night? Well, we didn't sleep. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't slept yet. Uh, what, what are you most excited for? Well, well, I'm no gaming. <laughs> what will you be playing? Uh, I'll, be playing, I'll be playing a lot of uh, Team Fortress. Excellent, excellent. And you? Uh, Armor 3 and 3D printing. Okay. I can't believe you brought a 3D printer. That's so cool. What's, what's first on the agenda? Well, we actually don't know. Uh, we're actually bringing another Sorry? one as well. We're having two. Yeah. <laughs> two. Dueling 3D printers. Uh, we have some requests already. <laughs> we have a couple of requests already. Excellent. Any, any you can share on the stream? Uh, no, uh, if you want something small, print it up. I mean, you can probably come along and just, yeah, probably get something nice. Do you know where your row is? Do you mind telling people? You don't, if you don't want to, that's okay. Uh, row 69 or 70? I think 69. Excellent. We're, kind of, we're spread on both of them, so it's kind of just at the end, where it's the most quietest and you can hear small machine sounds. Nice. Yeah. So you've been twice before. How many times have you been? Uh, five times. Five times? Yeah. It's a pretty extraordinary event, right? Yeah, I love it. Every I come here every year. I mean, I'm in the military now, and I still come. Like. That's fantastic. Thank you all both so much for talking to me. Good luck building what is clearly going to be an awesome desk. It's going to be awesome. Thanks. Thank you very much. <laughs> Welcome to the gathering. Thank you. Yeah, I mean... Dude, that is so awesome. Oh, you, you, you have seen nothing yet. I mean, 3D printers, I yeah. don't think we even had those last year. No, so they're prepared. They're ready for this thing. They're prepared. They've got what you might call a strategy. Yeah, so I was going to ask you, this, I'm a noob here, so I don't yeah. know, but like, what is, what's the basic thing that's going on right now? Like, are they scouting out their positions and trying to get like good well, setup, or, or do they have assigned seats here? They've got an assigned seat. You buy a desk, you get your internet connection, you get your power. What people do, though, maybe they'll buy a desk in groups of, say, three or four, five, yeah. ten friends. Right, so everyone can play together. And what they do is they build these massive, elaborate shelves. You might think it's just, oh, I've got a shelf for my monitor, I've got a shelf for this. No, these are huge, detailed LED lighting, <laughs> right. custom sculpting. Oh, my God, I want to see it. You, you, yeah, you're going to see it. Wait, so they have to get all the stuff done b by, what, 9 o'clock tonight? Um, well, they can take as long as they want, but 9 o'clock's when the lights go out. So generally, wow. a lot of people are going to like pre-build their shelves and just wheel them in. I've seen people put their shelves upside down with casters on them. Nice. Yeah, just, I saw some of that here. Like People are like already yeah. ready to go. It's amazing. I mean, strategy is a wonderful thing. Uh, not sleeping, interesting strategy. I think it's a good strategy. Like this is a this is a typical strategy that gamers use at other mm -hmm. conventions. Like they want to be there right at opening gate, uh, get in there, get as much game time as they can. So before they can uh, slump. But we have batteries for that, so it's fine. Yeah, yeah, you, you can sleep later. Yeah, you can sleep later. You can sleep when you're old like me, at least in your thirties. <laughs> right. I think we're gonna have a little look outside if we can. Have a little look at some of the strategies that some of our people are employing. So let's see what we have. Yep, camera seems to be going up. Let's see what we've got. Let's see what we've got. So do you want to be close to that stage up there? Like, uh, I'm, I'm thinking, like, if you're a hardcore gamer, is it, mm. are you playing and listening to music, or...? Well, a lot of people will have noise-canceling headphones, obviously. Sure. But what you'll find is uh, the stage is definitely, I think, the most exciting place to be. Based on last year's experience, yeah. you had a lot of people almost competing with the stage for sheer volume. Wow. In a battle that it fried a few brains. But it also let us have an amazing dance party last year. <laughs> I love it. I was wearing a cap onesie. I don't <laughs> remember why. <laughs> if only we had some footage we can cut back to right now. <laughs> oh, if only we did. One day. One day. So we've got a lot of people, what we see is they're just filtering in, finding their desks, 
getting set up. Like we had the advantage of setting up a little bit earlier this week. Yeah. And it feels good. Just get basically. This is going to be your home for a week, so you want to make yourself comfortable. People are going to bring in couches. So yeah, do you get furniture? Do you get like refrigerators, that kind of stuff too? Are you basically yes. like camping out? You are basically camping out. It's like a home amazing. away from home. And speaking of people being at home, speaking of participants, I believe Amy has got another participant. Shall we point? Let's do one, it. One, three, three, two, one. Point. Hello again. I have found another participant. Would you please introduce yourselves for us? Uh, I'm Helga. <laughs> and how many times have you been to the gathering? Um, this is my first, but I've tried to get tickets oh, like five floor. times. Yeah. So, so <laughs> super next. happy. <laughs> welcome, robot. welcome yeah. to the gathering. So what? what's this? <laughs> um, it's my computer. <laughs> and a pillow. Sweet, cheers. <laughs> That's the, the basics for all you need, for right? Yeah. Uh, and how far did you come to get here? Oh, we've got a spill behind us. Oh, I'm so <laughs> sorry, guys. Cheers. <laughs> How far did you come to get here? Um, I drove for eight hours, all the way from Kristiansand. <laughs> That's as long as the flight that we took. That's yeah. uh, Dedication. Yeah. That's amazing. <laughs> what are you most looking forward to this week? Um, I don't know, to get to know people <laughs> and uh, probably the Nurbro. I'm really excited for what that is. Awesome. Are you, are you playing in that one? I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> I think it sounds like a lot of fun. We had them talking uh, over at Game on the stream last night about it. Yeah. <laughs> So, do you, are you partnered up with anyone, or are you just going to make friends with your table mates? Um, I do have my best friend here. Awesome. So, we're going to play League of Legends. And <laughs> <laughs> awesome, League of Legends. Uh, thank you so much for chatting with us. I should let you get to setting up, but I, by the way, I love your sweatshirt. Thank you. <laughs> have a wonderful time. Welcome to the gathering. Thank you. <laughs> I stopped her because she was carrying that entire thing. Just. Heading on in. It's a lot of amazing people here. It's going to be a wonderful, wonderful time. Um, back to you guys in the studio. Thank you, Amy. Having all the fun on the floor there. However, we've got one participant up here in the studio. Who's got... No, not, not even you, Bo. Not even you. Behind you. No. Yeah, we've got a robot in the studio for the first time ever. Hello, robot. And, you know, this, this robot is as much a participant as you or me or Bowen here. And uh, we're going to have a little word with the robot here just to get that kind of robotic perspective on are what you, goes on at the gathering. Are you saying the robot talks? I think we can let the robot speak for itself. Hello, robot. How are you? What? Whoa, I know, right? So, is this your first time at the gathering? This is not my first time, actually. This Ooh. is... Uh, I've, I've been here several times. Several times. So, what was your first gathering like? It was uh, pretty exciting. A lot of people, a lot of cool <laughs> shelves, and a lot, a lot of noise. So, I mean, sure. I'm sure you're wondering as well, how is the gathering, you know, for a robot as opposed to, say, one of us uh, fleshy meatbag human types? Uh, well, we never sleep, so uh, yeah, you wouldn't we, need to. Exactly. We have a lot of uh, a lot of spare time for gaming and uh, and listening to music and uh, and partying, really. So I like it. You must have a fairly sophisticated emotion engine then, because most people would assume that robots don't uh, have feelings. They wouldn't be affected by things like music or art or anything. So are you telling me that... <sighs> you you're, you're a speciesist, man. I'm, not, I'm, I'm asking. I'm trying <laughs> to expand my horizons. <laughs> are you saying that you've achieved <laughs> true emotional <laughs> sentience? Of course we have. <laughs> man. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Were you created at the gathering? Yes, I was, actually. Yes. What? Whoa. I know. It's mind-blowing, right? <laughs> it's amazing. These guys are so good. They don't make just machines, like they make AI. They make, so are you, are you sponsored by anyone like uh, Cyberdyne, Skynet, Disney, someone like that? Uh, I can't really tell you. Oh, is it, is it a legal thing? Exactly. Yeah. Oh, I see, no, I understand perfectly. You don't want to get sued. Ex exactly, but you, you have to respect us and fear us because we are yeah. the future. They are the future. I mean, yeah. our, our time on this earth is fairly limited. Yeah. Towards not the next generation. Yeah, clearly. Yeah. I mean, you know, that's, that's fine. We're we're ready to have our time in the spotlight and then move on and uh, let the planet actually, you know, breathe and stuff like that. Sure. Yeah, humans are fairly crappy at that. Um, wait, hey, robot. What what's your name actually? Yeah, we never asked. Uh, you know what, Mike? Is it okay to call you robot? Is that rude? I mean, I don't want to. I don't know how this works. I I would really like uh, to have a name because my uh, I I never got a name. You never oh. got a name. I need a name. Oh God, you're like the Edward Scissorhands of not having a name <laughs> right. instead of hands. <laughs> right. Well, I think we can help with that. Not just me or you, but you, the people I'm pointing at right there, especially. Let's see. Uh, yep, 
you guys down there, especially, you've got backpacks on, you're trying to get through, you guys especially, we want you to name the robot. How are we going to do that? Well, we are going to use the power of the internet. Imagine that. There's a quick, quick impression of the internet. Yeah, we're going to do our internet impression <laughs> with thumbs. <laughs> yeah, everyone here has got pretty good thumb coordination, thumb strength. Yeah, You've been you doing exercises, it. thumb pull-ups, you know, thumb push-ups, all the rest of it. <laughs> right. So what we're going to ask you guys to do is to tweet us using the hashtags TGTV and name the robot. Any suggestion you want for the robot's name, we're just going to call you the robot for now. You know, it's not fair to assign your name when we've got all these people working on it. Name the robot, TGTV. Give us any suggestion you want. We're going to be reading them out throughout the entire event. And by the end of it, we're going to have a name for you. Mr. Uh, is, it, is it Mr. Robot? Is it Miss Robot? We haven't got a gender pronoun. Do, do robots have genders? Well, Such I, a species as man, like seriously. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just curious. I'm just curious. So yeah, TGTV, name <laughs> the robot. And uh, yeah, that's going to go on. Nice. So, yeah, and with that, I think it's time to bring in Amy. She's uh, back she from the here? floor. Yep, come on, come on, come on, come on, oh, come, on come on, come on, come on. Hello. Let's get your headset on. Let's talk to you. I like, your, I like your cat outfit. It's, it's really comfortable. Thank you. Yeah. It's a staple from last year. It's really... Is it as comfortable as last year? Comfort is key to the gathering. Yes, it is. It's uh, super comfy. Uh, yeah, looking pretty smart. Yeah, there we go. Look at the matching mm. poses. Yes. I feel pretty suave. So, uh... <laughs> good little ears. <laughs> Yeah, I can't match that. <laughs> so what do, you, what do you think the robot should be called? I don't know. He or she is pretty adorable. Yeah, he's super cute. Possibly menacing. But I'm going to go with adorable in order to not frighten him into further menace. He oh, okay. He kind of has like a little echo thing going on. You know, like uh, he's got a cute little Disney feel. Yeah, he's, he's nicely proportioned. Yeah. He's got the big Disney cute head. He's yeah. got the, I mean, it's a little not... Wally kind of thing, right? Yes. Yes, but we can't call him that. That's no, no, no. Just, I'm sorry. It's it's uh, visually similar but legally distinct from uh, Wally. Wally. Yeah. That's yeah. absolutely yeah. right. So, <laughs> what would your suggestion be? Oh, you you're putting me on the spot here. Yeah. Because uh, it's well, fun. What, uh, what about gender? Does it need a gender? What's what's your what's your feel on that? I think it's genderless, but I'm going to okay. call him he apparently anyway. Oh, okay. You're just going to call him he. He, at uh, the moment, he's he. Yes. Okay. What's well, it's English thing, right? Like you can't really. There's not really an easy. Our pronoun language for it. has gendered pronouns, and it's dumb. Yeah, it is. <laughs> yeah. In Japanese, you wouldn't have you wouldn't have that problem. You just say like the robot. Robot right? san yeah. yeah, exactly. So with that, I think that's all we've got time for this morning. We're going to let everyone oh. get in, get set up, make themselves at home. But uh, we've got a countdown clock coming up because the lights out. This one. Not this one, no, this one's for getting in. We've got a new countdown clock that's going to come on after this. Lights Out is at 9 p.m. It's a beautiful thing to behold. I'm excited. Are you excited? I, I, everyone's so excited about it because, like, they've seen it. I don't know what it is, so I'm excited, right? It's like that bit of the cinema when the lights go down before the film, except, like, a thousand times better. Yeah, and it's the lights amazing. come on, music, yeah. everyone's gaming. Yeah, it sounds awesome. So before we go, what are you the most excited about this week? Uh, I want to see the gamers uh, because I think it's like an international tribe, mm. right? It's like the gamers here are just the same as in America, and I love seeing them playing the same games and, like, having the same experiences. Nice. Amy Dallin, what are you excited about? Same thing, that sense of community, that sense of finding that nerds yeah. are the mm. same all over the world. Yeah. And just literally the spectacle of it, the desks. Yeah. I want to see the desks. <laughs> oh, and the, the concerts. Oh, yes. The concerts are fantastic. They are superb. Um, I think that'll happen right after Lights Out tonight. It Tweet. does. Uh, Straight into Pegboard Nerds. Yes which I'm looking forward to. And apart from that, you know what? Just meeting people. Yeah. There's so many people. They're all really nice. In fact, yeah. you can be part of our studio audience if you want. This isn't a cheap plug at all. <laughs> but we actually have space for a studio audience. So, guys, yeah. if you want to get That's to know right us, here. just where we're pointing, sort of in front of us. You can't see it, but it's there. I swear <laughs> to God. Just come up. Come it's like say the, hi. the fore or the aft of the ship? I don't know. What This side. We are at the south end of the ship. South. <laughs> the south end. Come up to the south end. Take a seat. Say hi to us. We're yeah. nice people, except me. I'm a monster. But everyone else <laughs> is nice. But uh, with that, I think it's time to let people get on with their day. We shall see you all later this week at The Gathering. Good luck. Happy gaming, guys. Make some noise for yourselves. Ow.